world. And it's sort of under the guise of a drum and cymbal commercial. But for myself, I have total artistic freedom, free from any commercial genre restrictions. Mm -hmm. So my music is, uh, I, I make a complete musical statement on the drum set by itself. I use melody, harmony, orchestration. And the music is much like classical music, but it's also improvised. And mm -hmm. it's, it's influenced by ethnic cultures from around the world, like the drumming of Africa or the Middle East or Asia. Mm. like this. Uh, when people come to see you, for example tonight, uh, do you have the time to tell, especially guys interested in drumming, give them good advices and stuff like that? Yeah, absolutely. I, I perform um, probably two-thirds of the time and one-third of the time I give a seminar and explanation of my techniques and concepts. And then I also um, open it up for any questions that people might have. They ask me about technique or the instruments that I build, like I design my own cymbals and my own drum heads and sticks and beater ball attachments that make tambourine sounds with the bass drum and things like this. Yeah. yeah. Is it about the technique that's the most well-known question? Well, I think drumming, you know, has a lot to do with this kind of technique thing. You know, in the States we always had these battles of the drums, you know. Drumming comes in the States from a militaristic concert band format yeah. and so you know you had Buddy Rich is better than Gene Krupa or these kind of battles but nowadays it's more about a personal authentic individuated expression mm. and so uh, I've tried to look inside and to find my own voice mm. and each drummer does this in his own way their technique is only a means to an end you know mm. so if if I have a musical idea uh, and I can't execute it then I have to work on technique but to just be the fastest or the strongest or something like this is meaningless. Mm, true. Uh, as you, you saw the fabulous uh, live tape that we did last week, and he's of course using drum machines. Yes. Uh, is there, there was some talk about the drum machine killing the actual drummer. Well, yeah, it has put a lot of drummers out of work, but uh, studio drumming is not really something I ever wanted to do, you mm -hmm. know, to be able to co... I can do this, and I do it, and if you pay me my fee, I have a skill side, you know, I can yeah. read music, I can play with a click track, I can play a variety of styles and, and behave and yeah, all these <laughs> kinds of things and if you pay me my money my wife and family eat but I usually forget about that music mm. and uh, when it comes to my art and my composition and my expression these are things that are more personal and more meaningful and I think will have a more lasting effect uh, mm. in, in terms of a contribution to the art of drumming mm. but um, you know I think electronics is uh, an art form that really no one yet has, has really looked at the, the potential there. Mm -hmm. And I think that it, once a musician or an artist really decides this is where I want to go, we're going to see amazing things done with rhythm machines and computers and uh, electronics, uh, percussion, things like this. You told me that you have uh, several sets actually yes. all over the world. Do you have any time to do your own music while you're traveling between yeah, all these places? Yeah, I only work, I would say, about five, four months out of the year. So the rest of the time I'm at home and I compose. I've just completed uh, two new CDs. One is an uh, all-new solo drum music, yeah. and the other one is uh, drum solos that I did in the past, scored out for string quartet and woodwind quintet. Mm -hmm. So it's classical uh, chamber music as well as my solo drumming mixed. And uh, so I do these kinds of things. I record when I'm at home, I compose when I'm at home, I spend time with my wife and family, mm. and uh, I collect fountain pens, which is <laughs> my hobby. Well, so, well I'm sure you're going a, to uh, have a fabulous time tonight. It was nice that you came in. Thank you. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, we don't have your video.